Great, stage one comes in. Our, our water molecules, when they're in here, they freed all these ions. Some early age CSH, please, please come walking in here. Our early age CSH from the free ions, we're done with the C3A, and we are now moving on to talking about C3S for the rest of what we're talking about. Sometime at the beginning of stage one, people really don't know exactly what happens. We just know a lot of these ions go into solution, and all of a sudden they start reacting. We start some for, forming some early age reaction products right on the surface of our cement grain. They actually help protect the cement grain from right on the surface. So when my water molecules start to come in here, come on water molecules, come back in, come back in, thank you so much. They try to get in, they don't let them. They don't let them, they, they, they hold them out. And you'll see this shown on your sheet. You'll see the reator reaction, the rate of heat given off, actually goes from a very high level starting at the beginning of stage one and gets lower and lower and lower with time. There are a few water molecules that make it through. There are a few that make it through. And once they do, they get in there, they form a little bit of CSH, but it doesn't happen very regularly. It's likely this CSH is a very, very dense microstructure, very hard to water get in. Thank you, water molecules. Go on out. I appreciate it. So we're in stage one. We're, we're slowing down. Our cement grain is changing. Remember, we started with an egg. We started with an Easter egg. That's what, we, what, what I, analogy I used if we were looking at it on a global sense. And now it, the surface has changed. It's no longer smooth. It now gets a little fuzzy. It's got something on it. We can't, it's, it's a lot tougher for the water to get into the actual cement grain and, and cause a reaction to occur. Very interesting. Let's see. We've got our early CSH protecting our cement grain. Our heat release goes down. Um, a few make it through. We're still, our, our ions are going up and up in solution. We get more calcium ions going up, more calcium ions going up. The silica is being consumed initially right with the CSH reaction and uh, very little heat's given off. And this begins our induction period. This is when we go from stage one to stage two. Thank you very much, Sid. So we've got some etronite floating in solution. We've got some early age CSH on the surface. We've got our C3S particle there, still trying to be reacted. Some reactions happening, just not happening at a very, very, very fast rate. And this is stage two that you see. It's kind of boring. Not much happens. Very important stage, though, because we want to place this concrete. We want, it, we want it to give us some time to get it to the job site, get it in the forms and molds that we want it to. So see, the calcium ions keep building. They get higher and higher and higher. They get to super saturated levels. We really don't know what happens here. There, there's, there may be some kind of surface charge change. There may be some kind of uh, some other chemical reaction that occurs. We do know that calcium hydroxide forms. Calcium hydroxide comes out of solution. Calcium hydroxide, please. Come up here, comes out of solution and changes the CSH particles. Boom. Breaks them down. All of a sudden, the water comes running back in. Water comes on back in. Water comes running back in. All of a sudden, we have ended stage with the beginning of stage three. Stage three, please. Thank you so much. This is kind of the beginning of stage three. And, and we have massive reaction. We have massive heat giving off. I want you to look at stage three. We have heat going up and up and up. We have tons of water molecules coming in. More ions going in solution. More CSH being formed. Thank you so much, water molecules. Come on up. CSH, other CSH. Come on in here, please. Thank you so much. And uh, we have some more CSH particles being formed around the surface. More dense. We have some calcium hydroxide on the outside. Very interesting. Kind of all this is happening at once. Very, very active part. Start of stage three. And then right about midpoint of stage three, our etronite crystals, please flow back in here. Our etronite, again, they're in solution right now. They're floating, they're floating, they're in solution. People really don't know what, what occurs. Then all of a sudden, they attach to the surface of the CSH. They absorb water. And what do they do? Zing. They extend, ladies and gentlemen. They extend. And when that happens, we have changed from little tennis balls. And now a, a decent representation of our system are some Christmas bows. Two Christmas bows together. These etronite needles sticking across one another. And this is the initial set. When the needles of these etronite crystals start to interact with one another, there is a kind of some initial strength gain. So this occurs. We have our etronite on our surface. We still have some water molecules trying to come in here. Water molecules try to sneak in here. They come running in. They come running in. They, it's tough for them to get in now. It's much harder for them to get in. It's almost like a maze, like a very complicated maze that they must maneuver to find their way inside. But they finally do. They finally get in there. Come on. Come on in there. They get in there. Thank you so much. Great. More calcium goes into solution. More silica. They form the CSH. Thank you, water molecules. I appreciate it. Um, they, 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 uh, they form more CSH on the surface. And eventually, this keeps happening, keeps happening. This is getting, beginning now stage four. Thank you so much. Our reaction becomes diffusion controlled. 
That's what I was talking about. It starts to get harder and harder and harder for these water molecules to get in. Our rate of reaction starts to go down, get lower and lower and lower, and it gets to a point where we get to stage five. Now, we still get CSH formation during this time. We're still densifying our, 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 our uh, microstructure. Stage five begins, thank you so much, and now we have almost no rate of reaction. Almost none. Because what happens at this point is that these, this structure is so dense and so hard to get in that if a water molecule, if a water molecule, and I'm a water molecule, if a water molecule wanted to get in, they really wanted to get, they try, they jump, and oh my gosh, they can't. No, oh, that one didn't work out. I'm going to try this way. Okay, over here. Oh, oh didn't, no, oh, that, that hurt. No, anyway. So I got it. I, I couldn't make it. I couldn't make it because it's a diffusion controlled reaction. I, I, I just cannot make it in. Eventually, if I'm really sneaky, I'll get in there and I'll keep working and I'll keep working and I'll finally make it to the middle. I will form CSH and I will continue the hydration process. This keeps continuing. This keeps continuing. We change now. We're no longer Christmas bows. Our Christmas bows, we get more and more hydration products to form. They now become like tennis balls, interact with one another. And this this interaction, this friction, this grabbing between these two surfaces is why our cement paste has strength. It's why our concrete has strength. And uh, that is Hydration Theater. Um, I appreciate you very much for attending. And uh, thanks a bunch.